All right, so in this video, we're gonna be doing some practice with infinite geometric series, okay? So we wanna find if the series is convergent or divergent, and if it is convergent, then we're going to find the sum. So we have our first series right here. We have three minus four plus 16 over three minus 64 over nine and so on, okay? And the first thing that we need to do for this particular series is find the common ratio, okay? Since it's a series that's all drawn out, we can easily find that common ratio, okay? So for this series, what is R going to equal, right? R is our common ratio. Well, how do we get from three to negative four? Well, we can multiply, right? If we do three times what equals negative four, well, if we multiply by a negative 4 over 3, then the 3's cancel out, and you have a negative 4 equals negative 4, right? So, you can see here that our r is negative 4 over 3. Now, since that is less than negative 1, okay, remember that r needs to be in between negative 1 and 1 if this series is going to be convergent. So, since it's not, since it's less than negative 1, we know that this series is divergent. Our next series is going to be the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative 3 to the n minus 1 over 4 to the n. Okay, and for this, well, all we need to do is remember our actual uh, geometric series for the summation notation. Okay, that looks like a times r to the n minus 1. So we need to get all of our, we need to get a common ratio that's to the n minus 1 power, okay? So basically, we need to have an n minus 1 here instead of an n, okay? How do we do that? Well, we can break it up using what we know about exponents, okay? We can make this instead the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of we can keep this negative 3 to the n minus 1, but we can break this 4 to the n apart, and we can get 4 to the first, I'll write that and you'll see why in a bit, times 4 to the n minus 1. Okay, now where is that coming from? Well, 4, if you multiply this 4 to the first power times 4 to the n minus 1 power, you have to add the powers together, okay, and 1 plus a n minus one is going to be just n, so you get four to the n, which we had over here. Now, we can combine this negative three and the four into the same exponent, and we get the sum from n equals one to infinity of, we now have a one fourth times negative three over four to the n minus one power. Okay, now what's our common ratio? Well, in this case, it's negative three over four. And that is in between negative one and one, okay? You can, I guess you can write r equals, well, you can write negative three over four is greater than negative one and less than one if you really wanna you know, go about it that way. So, Great, we know that it's convergent, okay? We know that it's convergent. And now we wanna find the sum. How do we find the sum? Well, we just use a over one minus r, okay? And if we wanna use a over one minus r, we need to figure out what our a is, okay? We already know that our r is negative three over four, but our a is going to be what's in front of that. Remember, it's a times r to the n minus one. So our A is going to be one fourth. So we can rewrite this as one fourth over one minus our R, which is going to be negative three fourths. Okay, doing a little bit of uh, subtraction work here, I guess actually addition because these become positive. You get a one fourth over seven fourths and that is just going to be one seventh, okay? So that is the sum of this series. This infinite series has a finite sum, okay? 
Now we have our last problem up on the board here. The sum from n equals 1 to infinity of e to the 2n over 6 to the n minus 1. We want to find if this series is convergent or divergent. And if it is convergent, we need to find this sum. Okay, so we already have an n minus 1 on the bottom here. But we need to break apart this 2n to get an n minus 1 on the top. Okay, and we can do that by rewriting this as the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of e squared to the n power over 6 to the n minus 1. All right, this is still e to the 2n, right? I just kind of separated it. Now, you'll see here that we have the same exact thing as we did in the last problem, right? We have a constant, okay? e squared is a constant, and that's to the n power. So we have to break that up into, well, we write the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of e squared times e squared to the n minus 1. That's going to be over 6 to the n minus 1. Okay, again, this e squared is to the first power. Don't let that square fool you, okay? It's just, it's still a constant, okay? And that square is just part of this constant, I guess you could say, okay? It's e squared, and that's some long value that we really do not want to write out, all right? It's e squared to the first power times e squared to the n minus 1 power. Well, when you add these exponents together, you end up with n. So this is okay. Now we can rewrite this again as the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of e squared times e squared over 6 to the n minus 1 power. The question is now, is our common ratio greater than 1 or less than 1? Okay, because we know it's not negative, so we don't need to worry about any of that. And e squared, I believe, is like 7 something. You know, anyways, your common ratio is going to be greater than 1. Okay, so since e squared over 6 is greater than 1, we have a divergent series. And that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series, the explanation video for geometric series, and the next video in this series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.